Assalamu alaikum. Hey everyone, this is Amin and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube channel, now I will show you how to scrap data from website using Excel directly. Before starting the tutorial, I am requesting you if you are new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you already subscribe to my YouTube channel, thank you so much. And after watching this video, if you need any kind of help, about web scrapping or data scrapping please comment on the video or if you need my service at a cheap rate please contact me all my contact details you will find on the video description below also on my youtube channel cover page i have one request to you lot of people watch my video and gives thumbs up on the video but none of people none of you uh, comment on my video that's the reason i am not happy actually with my viewers because if viewers don't comment on the video then any youtube creators don't feel happy so my request to you that please comment on the video you like my videos or not just write something or you can suggest me if you find something that is not good for you or if you like if you don't like my videos you also you also comment on the video that i don't like your video or you can improve your video this way you can give me any kind of suggestion that will help me to create more and more videos and it will also help me to understand my viewers what exactly want so friends i don't want to talk anymore it is just my request to you please comment on the video share my videos to your social media so that other people can also learn from this video and in this youtube channel now i will create data scrapping web scrapping these types of lead generation these types of youtube video tutorials so let's start the tutorial first of all just i on the google.com i want to write the us people or but just write us population by state okay uh, us population by state then i want to click on the wikipedia link here okay this is the wikipedia link where we will find all the us people by state so here you see that this is the uh, items here and also you will find here is another uh, table data uh, I want to scrap all of the data that I will show step by step in this video. First of all, copy this URL and open the Excel sheet from your computer. I am normally, I am, I am currently using the Microsoft Excel 20, 20, 2019 version and this is the Microsoft Excel and on Microsoft Excel, just click on here, data tab as i am using the microsoft 2019 version my feature is like that but if you use some other version then it will look like some another thing okay so just click on here data then click on here get data from here and in that section you will find the get data then click on from web when you click on from web then you will find this option to paste your web target website link choose the basic then click on here ok when you click on the ok you will see that all the thing is already here on the navigator ok so here it is just table view and you can also see the web view now i want to show the preview of in the table view ok so i just here you will find all the main headers and here the documents here is the uh, population so these are the population i want to make it increase here i just want to make it the, the last here okay so here you see that this is the uh, data here and this is also the data here you see here now this data i want to show on the web view when you click on the web view you see these are the table data that i have already shown you so this is my target table data that i want to scrap using the excel so here you see that it is california this is the july 1 data so again i go back to my table view section and here you see that this is the california and these are the data so i want to get this table in my excel to get this data here 
just click on here okay load drop down menu click on load to when you click on load to this you will find this option import data here it is it is choose by table and choose by new worksheet but i want to uh, i want to uh, i want to get all the data in the existing worksheet okay so here you can select this one this table this cell here click on here okay when you click on here okay you see all of the data we have get here so these are all the data we get from uh, this website here directly and on the right side here you see that okay on the right side you see i just want to make it more clear so on the right side you see that queries and connection so we found these 62 rows loaded here and these are you can see all the preview here okay and on the top of the excel sheet you will find the two x two headers also table tools and query tools just click on here uh, this one query tools and on that section just click on here edit when you click on here edit okay you see here another pop-up okay this another sheet will be appeared so this is the this is the uh, power query editor okay in that section that means in that sheet we will do some extra work so that we can get the fresh and good data okay first of all i want to okay here you see that i uh, want i this data i don't want to uh, i do i want to remove this data here and i want to make this r this column that is this row as my header just select this one and just on that section here you you see here that use first row as header just select this one when you select this one you see that rank rank one we get as row and one more thing here see that this row is not required because our main target data started from the rows two two as i don't want to get this don't want to keep this row just select this row and on the home section the home button you see remove rows okay just click remove rows and here click on here remove top rows click on remove top rows and number of rows i just want to insert one then click ok so you see these rows has been removed from our section and if you go to the bottom of the page you see here this is some other data we don't need here so here you see that guam this data is not required so select this data and again click on here remove rows and remove bottom rows okay and here you see that how many data so i just write the seven rows i don't want click okay so here you see all the unwanted data is removed here one okay this one so you can also remove this one but this one is keep here so we get all of our target data now if you as you see here we get a lot of column section here but if you don't want any column that is not required to you you can easily delete this column here to delete any column here just click on here choose column then choose column here okay here you will see all the columns this is the header this is the headlines of that column so if you don't want to keep any column here you can just uncheck this one but in my video i want to keep all of the columns here okay so i just click on cancel here okay so after doing all of the thing here to get the fresh and quality data okay just to do all of the thing here that i have shown after that click on here rename of that sheet so i just make it the population us population okay i just make make it us population or just write it the uh, population okay i just keep it population population sheet click enter okay this is just renamed clearly after that just click on here close and load then click on here close and load when you click on here close and load you see we get all of our target data in our excel sheet very clearly now you can remove or if you see that you can do anything 
with that sheet here so this is the now just save that sheet on your computer okay this one okay here now i just want to okay so these are the all top data or all are the perfect data we get from website directly using the excel sheet you can now match all of the data here so this way you can get all of or any kind of data from website to excel uh, directly thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video bye